Tiff Benson here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Invictus and One Million by Paco Rabanne. So if you want to hear more about it, just keep watching. These two scents were highly requested on this channel for me to smell and sniff out and to give my opinions on. So this video is meant to be more of a first impressions of these two scents. They're both very popular, very well known, very requested on this channel. So before I get into a full detailed review on it, I figured why not put a video out there that just lets you know my initial thoughts on these scents. If I had to pick which fragrance I like better, I would probably say in this moment it's Paco Rabanne's One Million. In this moment. But we'll see within the next couple of days as I wear them and get more familiar with the scent. So first let's talk about Invictus because first this is like knocking me over with its power. I have it sprayed right here on me. It has notes of guaiac wood, grapefruit, and patchouli. And I would have to say that this is a big scent. I would definitely see this as like a club scent, going out scent, you want to be noticed type of scent. It is very overpowering and I could see why they call it Invictus, which means unconquered in Latin. The opening of Invictus is really strong, projects and projects and projects. Short story, I was walking through Lord & Taylor the first time I smelled this fragrance and it literally filled a room. This was when they were just launching the fragrance. If you're looking for something that's big and aromatic, this is definitely one to give a try. Now moving on to One Million by Paco Rabanne. This is one that I definitely am going to review in a longer review later, but let's just touch on the basics of what we have going on here with One Million. So the notes of this fragrance are frosted grapefruit, blood mandarin, peppermint, rose, absolute, musk, cinnamon bark, blonde leather, tonka bean, patchouli, white wood, Amber Kettle. This one is described as something that's fresh, spicy, and leathery. They say that one million on the fragrance blog smells like bubblegum on my skin. I'm not getting bubblegum. I'm getting a lot of grapefruit, rose, and musk, but you know, that just has to do with body chemistry. I have to admit, I'm naturally drawn to scents that smell like this. I actually wore this all day yesterday and I liked it from start to finish. I really did. I'm drawn to fragrances that smell unisex in my opinion and I could definitely see a woman wearing this type of scent. As someone who loves fragrance, I really enjoy the frosted grapefruit with peppermint and rose in that middle note. It is just glorious. This one also projects really well, but after a while, I, I kind of felt like it died down on the skin, but if I were active or moving, I would smell it warming back up on my skin. If you're looking for something that's gonna project and be more in your face, go with Invictus. If you like something that's maybe more geared for the summertime, or something that's softer, non-threatening. Even though they're two completely different scents, I'm gonna say what this kind of reminds me of. It's in the same, um, it's in the same vein when we talk about the character of a fragrance. YSL La Homme, even though it's not a big in your face sort of fragrance, I love that one and I like that it has that unisex vibe to it. This one, One Million by Paco Rabanne, has that same sort of soothing, unisex, non-threatening, nice guy sort of scent. I definitely want to get more familiar with these two scents and I'm going to wear them for a couple more days and then probably by the end of this week I will post a full review of One Million first because I feel like I'm drawn to it more 
and then Invictus. So let me know if you've tried these scents down below in the comment box. Let me know your thoughts on these things. If you like it, which one you prefer. And also, as always, let me know what fragrance you would like me to review down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!